I'm going to try something different with my fantastic fan. Since this one sticks down about an inch and a half, I'm going to put a spacer on top of the roof. So in the end, this should be flush with air. So I'm going to need about a one and a half inch spacer on top of the roof. My flange that goes in on the bottom. So I've taken it, traced the pattern, traced the pattern inside and outside. Now I'll cut this out, so I'll need two of these. That This is three quarter inch plywood, so this will give me uh, an inch and a half on top. Then what I'll do is I'll fiberglass these together so they're waterproof. The two pieces cut and I test fit them. Now I'm going to fiberglass them together and then just spread resin on them. I just want them to be waterproof. And I think what I'm going to do is I'll probably fiberglass it to the roof too. Just Then I'll just have to worry about where the actual vent meets on the top and then I can just use butyl tape for that. Now we'll line this up. Okay, now I'm just making sure it's relatively square. If it's off a bit, I can just put the grinder on it. Two pieces together, and I'll let these dry, and then I'll finish off the edges. I'll use what I have left of this resin just to coat the top. This should seal it also, I would believe. I'll be taking these screws out after. Okay, so I've taken the fan out so I can smooth all this out, so I'll work on that. But then I've added the spacer. The idea is going to be to put it roughly like that. I'll fiberglass this to the roof, and it's just a matter of screwing this butyl tape underneath and screwing this to the spacer. I've taken the grinder with the uh, flap wheel on it, and I've prepped around the opening taking the gel coat layer off right down the face. It's been fiberglassed in. It's been sitting all day here. Now I'll just go and I'll sand down. I'll grind down all this rough stuff just to smooth it out a bit. And then I'll test fit the fan. The edges here, I've left them smooth, but I have applied a layer of fiberglass resin, so it should be waterproof. Around the top here, I'll just sand all this down smooth and smooth all this out on the corners. This is inside the trailer looking up at the flat or up up at the the insert what i did is i had wood screws here with washers and when all the fiberglass was wet i sucked up all the 16 holes all the way around so that should be nice and should be nice and snugged up here's the here's the joint here and that should all be sealed with fiberglass resin that should be waterproof I've done a test fit of the fan. It seems to fit okay all the way around. Uh, the next step, what I'm going to do next is just build up all around the edges with some Bondo just to give it a little bit of contour. Nothing too fancy. And then after that, sand her down, smooth it out, and prime it and paint it. At the same time, I'm going to finish my wind deflector here. Okay, I've got some fiberglass and done. Got a little more sand and to do to smooth it out. I've also worked on the back of my wind deflector here. It's just to smooth it out. Here's the finished product. So I've bonded it in here, smoothed it out the best I could. It's not perfect, but it's up on top here. Nobody's going to see it. Uh, then between this and this, I've got butyl tape under there. Screwed everything down. And then after the screws were in, I just put some, this is some dap, some caulking on top and all around here. This is dry here now, so I'll probably trim this up just to make it look a little neater. So that's on the top. It's been, obviously you can see it's soaking wet here. It's been through rainstorms. It hasn't leaked at all. Here's the back of my wind deflector. Um, this will be another video project. But I've got that. The idea there was to deflect the air over the panels just to reduce the stress on them. On the inside here, you can see where the flange is going to go in. I've left all these screws in here. These are the ones I used to 
suck the fiberglass spacer to the roof when it was all wet. But I could probably take these out because the fiberglass alone would, would hold it to the roof, but I'll probably just leave them in. So then the idea now, this will just go up like this flush. Now you can see the dimples from where those screws go in. Maybe I will take them out. Then it's just a matter of putting one screw in here in each corner. And I'll go up through into the wood up top and then the flange is flush. There's the final product from the inside. Again, like I say, you can see that dimpling there from those other screws that are going up. I probably can take those out because the fiberglass alone will hold it to the roof. I've, I've got the I've got the spacer on top, then I've got a layer of fiberglass and I wet them both so it is fiberglass right to the roof. There's just an idea if anybody wants to do this with their trailer.